My dear viewers, you once asked me if I had told you everything there was to know of my adventures. And while I can say that I have told you the truth, I may not have told you all of it. I'm getting old. I'm not the same adventurer that I once was. I think it is time for you to hear of the Shire. It began long ago in a land far away to the east, the likes of which we will not find in the world today. Not far from the city of Riften, just past Skyrim's border, that is where our journey began. Hey guys, George here from Zero Pay Productions. Since we kind of skipped the normal intro that we would do for Skyrim Saturday, I will just give a little bit of information about what we are doing. We are doing The Shire by The Bob. This is available on PC for Skyrim Classic Edition and Skyrim Special Edition. I am playing on Special Edition, which is my preferred way to play, as always. To get started, we have to head just past the Black Briar Lodge, and there's going to be something over here that triggers the next quest. So, just from what I've read, the mod is fully voiced, has an explorable area that is actually bigger than Soul Slime, all handcrafted and everything, and has a large spanning quest that will have choices that you will make that will affect the outcome of the story. Uh-oh. Started a friend in need. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Who are you... My Who are you attacking over here? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Normally, I like to stick to lore-friendly mods, but I, uh, I love Lord of the Rings. I love the Hobbit. Your aid arrived just in time. So, suffice it to say, I'm more than happy to make an exception for this. Beer Sale. When I see someone in need of rescue, I do not hesitate to defend the besieged. You would do well to look after yourself, for you may not be as lucky next time. I believe some kind of compensation would be appropriate. I never ignore damsels in distress, especially the pretty ones. Well, that's a good way to get kicked in the balls. Uh, when I see someone in need of rescue, I do not hesitate to defend the besieged. But this is a good sign that we're already getting this many dialogue options. I think that's um, already a good indicator for the adventure that we're about to go on. It warms my heart to hear these words. Perhaps you would be willing to speak with me for a brief while. It's nice to be guarded while I catch my breath for a short spell. Very well. What do you want, then? I take it you know these lands. I am unfamiliar with these regions, I admit. I followed a strange gate, leading from the lands I've sworn to protect. My kind, we face hardship, but hostility welcomes me here too, I see. The creatures that lay before me... Elves. They resemble a people from my world. Yet the ones I know would have not acted so foolishly, or asked so many irregular questions. These creatures look foul, and their actions agree with their appearance. It is all very puzzling. Yeah, those are the Thalmor. Did they yell at you about Talos? Uh, Thalmor's what they're called. Sadly, nobility is unknown to them. I've never met an elf that was trustworthy. These Thalmor, least of all. I can be racist. I admire their tenacity. I would learn their ways if they would only accept me. Uh, I pity these Thalmor. They seem misguided. These creatures are unknown to me. I cannot say why they attacked you. Okay. Um... I don't know if I would call the Thalmor misguided. They they pretty much know what they're doing. Yeah, nobility is unknown to them. I think I was right in my assumptions. You must possess a fair amount of knowledge concerning this land. I believe I'm getting to understand you better. But allow me one more question. What is your role in this world? What do you deem your purpose to be? A warrior I am. Or am I roaming around to increase my skills? I travel these roads as a merchant. I seek power, wary be the weak when I approach. I seek to help people in any way possible. I am a bard. I wander this land in search for songs of great deeds. I own land and bear nobles' title. I travel to secure and expand my property. Gold and jewels warm my heart. Amassing wealth is why I exist. Um, 
No, I seek to help people in any way possible. And from what I read on the mod page, you can be evil. You can make evil choices. So people who want mods where you can be more of a villain, this might be the mod for you. That is a noble cause. Yet I fear that you may find much pain on your path as well. Still, perhaps you would be able to aid me in my troubles. Thank you for all you have told me. I suppose it is only fair that I introduce myself now, is it not? I am called Biocell, and I am a ranger of iron ore. I have come to this world by accident, after I passed through a strange gate I discovered, hidden just out of sight. I would not have come here, were not that my people were tasked with the protection of a tranquil land. Lately we find ourselves besieged. New threats have arisen, and I was sent out to find help or allies. Upon entering this strange world of yours, I approached this small band of... Thalmor, you call them? They attacked me after I refused to answer their questions. Now I am uncertain if coming here was a mistake or not, but at least I found you. Would you care to meet my kind and its leader? Or perhaps even join our cause? Whether it be honour, fame or gold you seek, I am certain we can cater to your needs in a satisfying manner. Um... Aha, yes, I will merrily come to help your people. I don't like that help is in quotation marks. Uh, that sounds like an adventure if I ever saw one. Yes, I would like to visit. Yeah, I, I think that's my favorite one out of these. An adventure is the very least you should expect. I hope you do not romanticize my predicament. This is no fairy tale you step into. Well, I guess it technically is. Where are we headed? I'm afraid you will need to find your way to our base of operations by yourself. We will meet again once you seek out the old farmhouse east of Barg End. Completed. A friend in need. One thing I want to do just real quick. I just want to change one setting with my lanterns and then I will be set. Alright. Just had to change something in my settings real quick, but now we're good to go to the Shire. I like the idea that anyone who just oh, did you see that? runs through the border Whoops. comes to the Shire. Something like a shadow just swept by. I think it's one of those big folks. Oh, this again. You've been smoking too much, cousin. How long do I gotta put up with this big folk invading the Shire nonsense? <clears throat> the Shire was peaceful enough for my parents, and by the hair of my toes, it will be peaceful enough for my children too. Ain't nothing dramatic about to happen oh, any time soon. Oh, yeah. Well, what about that one? Big person right here. Who's been smoking too much tobacco now? Great Chuck, you were right. Let's just stay calm. Maybe he won't notice us. Yep, and, and they're running off. They're just running away from me. Well... Oh, hello there. <laughs> Need a ride? Uh, where does this carriage even go? Where do you want to go? I don't know, you tell me. Oh, okay. Just oh, okay. All right then. I guess that's just how you get back to the vanilla cities, although can I get back to Skyrim this way as well? Yes, I can. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Let me see what the journal said. An unexpected welcome begin. EMQ recommended for second playthrough. I don't know what that means. Purchase land to build your home in the Shire. Yes, we are going to build our own hobbit hole. I met a ranger from a distant land who called herself Beersael. She said that she needed my help and requested that I meet her at her hideout. I should travel through the gate she marked on my map and find the secluded abode she spoke of. I'm curious if this has its own custom map. It does... Wow, that's big. I've... Oh, wait, no. That's recommended for second playthrough. What does that mean, second playthrough? 
like if I've already played through the mod and this is my second time playing through it. Because that's what it means to me, just, you know, thinking of it that way, but... That or if you can just do, like, a new game plus within the same character playthrough, I don't know. And... All the locations are already unlocked. Okay. Um, we will just walk there, though. And we'll just see if anything comes up on the way there, just in case there are random encounters or something just kind of triggers story-wise as we walk from here to there. Hello there. Care to look at my wares? It will only take a moment of your time. Well, where are they? You look like the type that would head off in one of those adventures. Ugh, nasty things in my opinion. Well, your opinion's wrong. Keep your nose out of trouble, and no trouble will find you. Yes. So I can't really go into any of the houses, so that just makes me wonder what all the NPCs do. Like, what happens with their schedule? Do they just stand around all night doing absolutely nothing? Can I just not go into any of these homes? Ain't seen you before, oh. have I? You let me come to the Shire and I can't go into the Hobbit holes? God damn it. I'm sad. Oh, um, we have something over here. We've got some sort of creature here in the bog. Also, even though we have a lot of locations marked on our map that are already discovered, there are some locations that you still get to discover on your own, so I am happy about that. Oof. The change in lighting and the change in atmosphere. It's a nice transition. Oh no, what is that thing? Hello? Oh, it sees me. Oh, it sees me. Oh, it's coming for me. Stone Troll. Okay. I don't know if the mod is set to be for a certain um level or balanced around a certain level. But I'm on my normal level 81 character. The water is... The textures are just not tessellating correctly. Which, I don't have that problem anywhere else. Like, vanilla-wise, so... I guess just th that's probably just a matter of how that was put down. Or laid out. I see another stone troll over there. I really like the atmosphere of the bog. Like, we're already off to a good start with... Level design and everything. Oh, and as I say that, that stone troll is very, very much T-posed. Oh, well, he's dead. Okay. He killed this cow, how dare he? Uh, let me see where I am. Oh yeah, we still got a while to go before we reach the abandoned farmhouse. I am loving the landscape so far. It gives me a very traditional, high fantasy feeling, and I'm really, really liking that. And I think there's a lot of things that contribute to it. I think the, the layout of the area so far, just from what I've seen with the bog and uh, textures that were changed for different plants, new trees, stuff like that, it just really feels... It feels fresh, and I'm really liking that aspect of it so far. We have a farm up here. I want to find out where to go to, uh, to buy land. Like, I want to know where on the map I'm going to go in order to 
purchase land. Um, we're not supposed to meet here, you know. Hey. Something on your mind? You're, you're not supposed to be here. Where, where do you think you're going? Um. Well, I hope that when I get where I'm going, that she's going to be there. Otherwise, that could be an issue. One thing that I guess I should mention before we get too far into this is that this mod does not require any DLCs and does not require any other mods in order for it to work. So, once you down download it, you are good to go. Uh, it's a large mod. It is 3 gigs, and that's one of the reasons why it'll never be on consoles, just because consoles do have a size restriction for mods just because that's how it goes. And it couldn't be on PS4 anyway because of the new assets and everything, and, well, Sony just wasn't a big fan of modding on their console anyway, or at least with Skyrim, so maybe that'll change with the next console, but we will see. Alright, let's see if she's here. Maybe she just went home for the night and she was like, I'll come back in the morning. Hello? Ranger hideout. Discovered. Failed. Begin EMQ. Recommended for second playthrough. Okay, so it's either you come here or you go there. Well, well. What have we here? A stranger approaches the secluded base of the rangers. I seek entrance into the base. Beer Sael requested my assistance. Beer Sael, I already forgot how to say her name. I don't know what is happening. It seems I stumbled into some sort of adventure. I'm selling these wares and I figured even hidden bases need supplies, right? Uh, no, I seek entrance. I, I was told to come here, it's okay. And yet she didn't mention to report to the gatekeeper. Hmm, <laughs> that girl never was a bright one to begin with. Right, you just cut off an entire well, line of dialogue. at least I have you now. From what I can tell, you check out all right. Please, find your own way into the base. You should be fine. It's a hidden base. Just don't forget to shine your light on the situation. It's... It's a hidden base. How am I just supposed to find it? Uh, what is it with all these light metaphors? If, at the end of the day, you are still pondering my choice of words, then the rangers will have no use for you. I mean, it's just gonna be a clue that I need to use light in order to see where I'm going. I see. Thank you, and a pleasure to have met you. <laughs> The pleasure is mine. Of that, you can be sure. Give my regards to Thorman. He'll be so glad to hear from me. You will find him inside. Find a way inside the hideout. Well, there's a torch here. So I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to assume that I need the torch for something. And, I mean, this is a stone slab that looks like it's covering the entrance. Torch is activated. Hey, there we go. Captain, looks like the mouse sprung our trap. What? Wait, what do you... Am I... God damn it. I was gonna say am I in prison, but I can also just leave the way I came in, so... Hello? I strongly suggest you speak quickly to explain your presence here. I'm sorry, I suddenly realized I have no business here. I'll be on my way. Uh, the gatekeeper sent me in. A BCIL sent me after I saved her from a hostile mob. She said you need my help. Buy or sell sent you. Buy or sell, yes. I suppose I can see why. Especially if you helped her from a pack of foes. But any scoundrel could pick up a name, couldn't they? Such a pity she isn't here to confirm your tale. Yeah, I don't know where she so, went. just to be safe, describe her to me. She has very green eyes. Very, very green eyes. Oh no, I just say, it was love at first sight. Her dazzling green eyes pierced my heart with ease. And he's like, I... Okay. Um, brown hair, neatly braided to one side. Emerald eyes, she wore a green outfit. Huh. I guess it is safe to say you did meet her. Perhaps we started off on the wrong foot. You may not be my enemy after all. I need one more thing before your release is warranted. What is your name, stranger? You know I could very easily just leave the way I came in. Um... 
Of course, I am called George Zarkady. Thank you. My name is Thorman, and I am Byersel's captain. Your words have earned you your freedom. Now please, follow me into our base. We will continue our conversation in there. Thorman, this is a joke, right? You're not actually going to let him in, are you? Yeah, he is. He hardly answered the way we agreed on. Wait, what? You're right. He didn't. But my reasons behind this decision are my own. How was I supposed to answer? Let's not speak of this in front of the Outlander anymore. Go ahead and unlock his cage. How was I supposed to answer? Just a fair warning. If you so much as adjust your sheath while you're in here, I'll have a dagger up your throat faster than you can apologize. I hope that's perfectly clear. What happens if I do just take out my Here's sword? Here's the key, Outlander. I'm sure you know how to use it. He said for you to unlock my cage. He didn't say give him the key. He said, hey, go unlock his cage. As in, you do it. By yourself. Good you're back. We never got the chance to finish our discussion from earlier. What of these trolls? I suppose you think they came down from the mountains by chance as well. These are no coincidences. Listen, Foridon, I've heard your opinion, but what would you do about this situation right now? I don't know. Something. Anything is better than sitting here talking about what could be done. We cannot act too hasty. We need to think about our actions. Think about the consequences. We can't just barge into people's lives and disrupt their routines. We need to act with caution. That's all I'm saying. I think Fordot has a point, though. I, too, am wary of sitting idly by while our enemies move at the fringes of our sight. How can we hope to do good if we cannot warrant the safety of those we're supposed to protect? How can we leave our mark on this world if we sit still? Bah, I see what you're trying to do, both of you. You would replace my vision with your own. I'll have none of this. Thorman, you've been quiet this whole time. Surely you can dismiss their concerns. Concerns? Well, sounds like you three are still not satisfied with the way I deal with our problems. I am satisfied, Thorman. I was just telling Foridant and Tinruth that we should have faith in our capabilities. Thursic, you coward! Hiding behind the chief again? No need for hostilities, Tinruth. Thorman, you know how I feel about maintaining a passive stance in these times. I am well aware of your reservations. You also know nothing has changed. We need more information before we can turn to action. Of course. But we should at least dispatch scouting parties to see what areas are threatened. What is the use of waiting until it's too late? We would. If we could spare the manpower. Yet we cannot afford to discontinue our regular duties. I need everyone on their post, and that is that. If you insist, Thorman. I just wish my post wasn't between the four corners of this base all the time! Stop playing the victim, Tinruth. We know you are capable, and no, we're not holding you back. Patience is one of the final lessons you need to learn, apparently. If only someone would actually teach me anything. Ah, there's a familiar face. I'm glad you found your way to our base, Outlander. It took you longer than most, though. Hey! I assume you've met Thorman, our captain? I walked here pretty quickly. We've met, yes. And I hope the Outlander forgives me for the manner in which it happened. I think that means you were locked up in our cage. Isn't that right? A little bit. Thorman, this one helped me defeat a gang of... Thalmor, you call them? Mm-hmm. I owe my life to this Outlander. I know. He told me about your shared battle. That display of bravery played a sizable part in the Outlander's release. I would welcome such a brave soul, if they were willing to lend a hand in some of our efforts. I assume that is why you sent him here by yourself. You expressed our need for aid? I did indeed. Therefore, I am glad the Outlander showed up. I think he will be a boon to our cause. For better or for worse, we are in need of aid. Please speak to the other rangers while Byersel and I discuss what needs to be done. What do you want? Started an unexpected party. 
Uh, while Thorman and Byrcell decide how I would best fit their cause, I have been instructed to speak with each of the other rangers. Now would be a good time to get a feel for those of whom I might be associating with. So yeah, uh, so far, just from the little bit I've played, there's quite a few things to uh, speak in regards to, I think. The uh, area that I've seen so far, or just the areas that I have kind of walked through, uh, pretty well done. There are some slight texture glitches, like the water and just other landscaping. Um, minor things with dialogue, like apostrophes not showing up and it has the little square instead, or dialogue just kind of cutting itself off or not matching the subtitles, but it's all just relatively minor stuff. Just kind of stuff that can be polished, but nothing that really makes or breaks the mod. Just things that, you know, I kind of notice. If there's notice. something you need, I'm probably not the one to talk to, but I can point you in the right direction. Voice acting has been good so far. A couple microphones were not the best quality, but that's one of those things where I'll never... Top of the morning to you. ...hold that against a mod, because not everyone has professional-grade recording equipment. Hello. Hi, how are you? Greetings. It is my pleasure to meet you. Despite what the others may think, I believe you'll be a great boon to our company. Aww. But perhaps I speak too soon, and my words are filled with too much hope. However, we could truly use some light in this darkness, and I hope Thormin will decide to have you join our ranks. As a hired hand, of course. If I could answer any of your questions, let me know. Who are you? I am Forident. And how may I address you, stranger? My name is George Zarkady. Glad to make your acquaintance, then. In what other way can I be of assistance? What is your function here? I traveled through the Shire to assess any rising threats. If you need to know what occurs in between these hills, speak to me. I am most skilled in moving unseen and treading silently. Without the knowledge I provide to our company, we might just as well be blind. Do you enjoy being stationed here? Being assigned to this region could be thrilling, were it not that Thorman is so reluctant to act. I know what happened to the other rangers, but I don't understand why we need to sit, wait, and talk everything over so often. What good can come from a passive stance at a time when the shadows grow? At this moment, I wish I could have gone with Theobard's company. But maybe times are changing. You are here after all. Um... For a ranger, you sound surprisingly kind to a stranger. I mean, that seems like a grand generalization of just saying like, Oh yeah, you rangers are dicks. Um, I'm not gonna ask that. If I say, can I become a ranger, he's gonna say no. Can you tell me something about your past? Kind of personal, but uh, alright, thank you. Sure. It's the thing of- I'm, Top of the morning to you. Oh, I was gonna say, maybe I can yes? ask him those questions later. I guess not, I guess it just locks you out of the dialogue with him. Wants to speak to him. I feel like it would make sense to ask him some of those questions later on, but just initially it's like, Oh, tell me about your past. It's like, we just met. Oh, you're nice for a ranger. We- Alright, just generalizing what rangers are like. That's nice, thanks. Yes? Hi, right, would you like to play some chess? Take- I can take- your nuts? I Hello. took your nuts. Something you need? Uh, how are you? I have to believe that you could be the answer to our problems. Truthfully, I fail to see why we should trust you. Alright. Cool. We're doing quite well on our own, thank you. What task is there for you to do that I wouldn't be able to do myself? I, I just wish I had more time to perform all these extra duties. Let me know if you need any information from me. I already don't like her. Who are you, and can you just calm down? Yeah, calm down, I'm not after your tasks. I know your type. You think you could storm in here and earn your position in the higher ranks after performing just a few tasks here and there. I probably could. This isn't a group like that, friend. In any case, I joined before you did, so I'm due for promotion long before you can escape your menial tasks. Menial. Also... Just because you've been here longer doesn't mean you're better than me. I could be better than you, and therefore I might deserve a promotion more than you do. I am Tinruth. What should I call you, then? Call me George, the guy who's gonna take your job. Alright. Need anything else? 
I'm a busy woman, you know. You're sitting here looking at a chessboard, drinking. What's your function here, besides from just being rude? <laughs> I'm unsure your weak mind will fathom it. I hate her. I'll try to explain it to you. When the other rangers go to the Shire and perform their tasks, I remain here to defend the base and prioritize the tasks that need to be completed. <laughs> you know what? She, she has this coming. You're a housekeeper. You want to know what I am? I'm the Dragonborn. I slay dragons for a living. I absorb their souls. So, out of the two of us, who do you think is more impressive? See? I knew you wouldn't understand. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand the situation. How did you come to join them? I was sent to Thorman to finish my training under his guidance. I wish he would grant me the title already. How much longer do I need to prove myself? But I think I already said too much, and I won't discuss these matters with a stranger, anyway. Alright, well that's all the information I need from you. Of course. I already don't like you. Already not a big fan. I'll see you later. And now we get to talk to the third person who I'm really not a fan of. He was the guy who was rude to me when I was in the jail cell, so... Can't imagine that's gonna go over well.